Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over all the confirmed 99 overall golden tickets in Madden 21, guys. Now, it is the 18th. So, as of today, we've officially had, I'd say, about a little under a week of golden ticket processing. Remember, I believe the 26th, if I'm not mistaken, is going to be one of the first golden ticket release. Or was it maybe the 29th? No, I think they're gonna, they're gonna finish the missions up to the 26th and like the 29th around there. I forget the exact date, but golden tickets, borderline end of the month, is when we get in the first ones, right? So do keep in mind that with that being said, guys, we are getting very near the end of the golden tickets missions. Um, so at this point in time, guys, we have about four confirmed ones. There's some rumored ones, of course. We're not gonna go over those because some may be confidential, some are just rumored, some people may have not revealed yet. So there are four officially on YouTube that have been confirmed. But quite a few people i know we have we have zerk swift dom and i'm blanking i mean zerk unless zerk did two of them i don't exactly no, no and slang sorry that's what it was zerk slaying dom and swift i believe i've revealed four of the ones that i'm about to go over here so you guys can see this is just overall the list of confirmed i'm gonna go over some stats kind of how these guys can look but overall they're looking good now there's a few guys that i still want to see as golden tickets but i'm hoping someone else pulls the weight and does it i'm excited about so far this list i'm excited about like two of them two of them i'm like okay these cards are going to be pretty good like two of them are going to be pretty good now I'm, here's the thing with golden tickets guys of course people do whatever they want it, it could literally be a bronze overall third string quarterback and they, they could do that bronze overall third string running back it could be a punter like people could literally do what they want how they want as long as the a does approve it and it's not like for some reason wrong in any way but let's get into this guys so let's get over to the first one before we do Hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know, guys, what's going on. Make sure to comment down below, turn that noti bell, and of course, if you haven't already, hit up to my coin bank and use code Poodle for a five off your order. Now, let's head on over to the first game, Brandon Ayuk, which I believe was revealed by. Oh, I want to say Zerk on this one. I could be wrong. Maybe not. I don't know. This might have been Swift, but Brandon Ayuk, 90 overall. Wide receiver for the Niners, guys. We went over stats once. I'm going to go over it real quickly on the Brandon Ayuk uh, part now. Brandon Ayuk is going to have probably 99 speed, right? Because he's going to get a plus 9 increase. He's going to end up with 99 speed. Because, of course, sprinter and everything. He'll probably close to 99 excel, close to 99 jumping. From an athletic standpoint, Brandon Ayuk's going to be amazing. Now, I do suspect, guys, this, you know, the stats may not be as simple as a plus 9 increase, right? Because the thing is with this card is... If it's based on that, it's catching and receiving. It's not actually going to be all that great. Uh, and considering, you know, 99 overall cards, I think they're going to boost some other stuff. But based off this, I imagine his catching ends up around a 94, 95. His catch and traffic ends up around a 95, 94. His spec catch ends up around a 97. His short RNA ends up around a 96. And, of course, his medium and deep end up around a 95 as well. So, this is a release. Like, at that point, he's like mid-90s everything for a 99 overall player. I hope that's not the case. Again, chemed up and power up. You may be able to fix all that. But from, from the looks of this, his receiving may not be, like, max on 99s. But then after the catch, he's really good, right? Change of direction. He's like a 94, 95 base. Ball carry vision, 94, 95 base. Spin move going to be 94, 95 base. So is juke move. So is carry. Going to be right around there. Maybe 93. Uh, break tackle going to be around a 90. Off the ball. I mean, no, with the ball in his hands after the catch, he's actually going to be really good. Run block, you may even get to a 60 there, which isn't horrible. You know, if you really want to, you could even upgrade his run block a little bit and make him like a beast outside run blocker for motion or stretch runs and stuff. But Brandon Ayuk looks pretty good. He's, he's not bad. He's not going to be he's not gonna be horrible. But again, I hope that it's just because it was a blitz card. His stats are kind of weird. We can only hope. Moving on. Tim Tebow. This is the one I'm most excited for so far. Tim Tebow is going to be an absolute beast. Now, of course, remember, they can, they can boost three stats. Which are not confirmed yet of what they're going to boost in terms of, I mean, maybe not publicly, but um, you know, maybe they're still thinking about it. But for the most part, guys, the three stats you want to boost are things that could really change the card. Now, there's something to consider with that. Like sometimes, like let's say they have a 96 throw medium, you could boost that, right, and then just get the 99. But the point of golden tickets sometimes is to make them different, right? So is making his accuracy plus three different, or would making them different be like turning a 75 truck into a 90, right? Like okay, now you can truck, like. You know, or turning an 85 juke into a 95 juke, and now, now you can juke like a beast, or turning a 75 carrying into a 95 carrying, and then now you can take hits, right? It's one of those things, like, making him differ. Change, you know what I mean? Like, changing his break tackle to 99, so he just kills people. Strength. That's the kind of stuff you want to do with golden tickets, so 
Tim Tebow right here. So off the rip, he's gonna get a plus seven overall. So he's gonna end up with around a 90. I think he ends up around a 96 speed. He's gonna end up around a seven speed, and then you also get the sprinter plus two. Potentially the power up guys like this car could really. Oh no, sorry, Golden Tickets came back. Right you get up with the sprinter. So he ends up around a 94, 96 speed. More than likely, if I have to guess, Excel around a 94, 95. Um, his agility going to be around a 94, 95 as well. His strength will be a 90 at least. His jumping will be like a 96, which doesn't really matter, but it is what it is. His throw power will be a 99, hands down. Uh, throw power plus, you know, the chems. Short accuracy will end up being a 99. Medium accuracy will be close. Medium accuracy may end up getting to a 94, which is what it's going to need to be to get up there. So I hope he does get a 94. Now, deep accuracy will not hit a 99. So this, again, this is one you maybe want to boost. Now, like I said before, you don't want to boost 96, 99, but this card literally may only get like a 92 deep accuracy, but he's going to get 91 short and 99 medium, possibly with a uh, play fake. So maybe the best bet is to just go ahead and boost his deep to ensure that you have 99 throwing, right? So that leaves you with two boosts left. Throw in the roll, be around 99. Play action mid 90s, but over the care. Start a pressure will be high 90. Break stack will be high 90. Behind, behind, uh, behind the card, right? His truck will be above a 90. His change direction will be above a 90. Ball carry vision above a 90. Stiff arm above 90, break tackle above 90, carrying close to 97, 98, and then his juke will be above 90, and it's still be mid 80. So now, you take a look at this card, right? He clearly here is going to have max accuracy with one boost used. He's going to have be a great ball carrier. Now, what do you add to this card, right? Like, that's the thing. What changes what this card can do? You look here, his deep ball is where he's lacking, right? Exactly why I said you boost his deep ball. Everything else can go up, but his deep ball is still not going to be a max screen, right? Now, what could you change? You can't touch typically anything in general you can touch everything else so when you really look at this card maybe maybe you do the, the tr maybe you do the juke right you get that thing to a 99 maybe you do the stiff arm but again maybe you just do the deep you take the deep accuracy you upgrade him and ends up helping maybe you upgrade his carrying as well make sure that gets up there but it's carrying i believe it's not showing here but i believe it's pretty good as well but overall let's see we've got to compare you can see every stat here as we move on down here so his carry 92 that's gonna be high you don't need that um i believe there's a few things here that potentially could be used let's see if it's on here let's see carry just needs to be touched what i'm saying like a lot of his stats are just already super super good so like i said maybe you just go with the deep maybe you just take the deep accuracy maybe you also upgrade the medium to be safe to make sure it gets 99 it might be close or you just take the deep you upgrade the juke and spin and he ends up being a beast you get the base of everything else right Next up, guys, Grant Delpit was confirmed. Grant Delpit's going to be a beast. Now, people at first were, like, not kind of cool with this for some reason. Grant Delpit's going to be a beast. He's 6'3", 213. That frame with his account is going to be crazy. Real quick, guys. He's going to get to about, remember, this is a plus 15, right? So, he's going to get probably, he's going to get 99 speed. Hands down, 99 speed. Going to get 99 XL. Going to get above 90 agility. Going to get above 90 jumping. Going to get above 90 play rack. Now, the thing with, well, actually, no. Jumping may come close to 99. Again, he's, he's going to be a 99 overall safety with 99 jumping at 6 foot 3. His play rack will probably end up around a 99 with lockdown maxed out. So now we get to coverage. His man coverage and zone. His zone will end up at a 99 because his zone hands down will be like a 96. And then you get locked down. His man coverage is going to end up being around a 94, 93. That might get close to not getting 99. But again, it's fine. He doesn't necessarily need 99 man coverage. Uh, press. You can always use her. And press is going to be around probably low 90. Catching. 66. I'll end up being around like a 75, uh, maybe an 80. Catching traffic is going to be around a 68, you know, low 70. Spec catch will be again right around 80, probably high 70s. Block shedding is going to be super low, probably end up being around a 70. If I had to guess, pursuit will be mid high 90. Tackling will be mid, mid low 80. And hit power will probably end up being a 99. So, so far this card is 99 speed, 99 jumping, 99 hit power, 99 zone. 99 play rack, six foot three. What are you missing? What is this card missing? So, as you can see here, his hands are lacking, and his run support are lacking. What are those two things? Run support is going to be his tackling, and his block shed and everything. His hands are going to be his catching, right? So that, that's what's lacking there. So you come over, tackle for sure. He's gonna end up only at like a low 80, maybe if he's lucky. So you definitely want to upgrade tackling. That should get him up to like a high 90 not a tackling. So now he's a tackling stud. Block shed super low. You're gonna want the block shed because if he's just getting blocked all day, you know, by literally anyone, it's gonna kill you in the run game. So now you look at this, what can you do here? You do give him the boost here and he probably ends up around a low 90 block shed as well. Maybe high 80, but again, that's fine. And then of course you go with the catching with your last boost and you give it to the catch right now. His catch is gonna end up being 
probably a 90 now, right? Because it was going to probably off the rip an 80. Probably nice. You're gonna have 90 catch. Now he's just now he's a he's a god user. Six foot three. Can jump, can run. It's gonna be a beast. Now there was one more guys. I couldn't find him on Mud for some reason. It was Robinson. It was an outside linebacker, I believe, from the Titans. So there's that. He's like a low uh, silver silver card, I believe. But again, there's a reason why the guy picked who he picked. Um is what it is. But pretty cool why he did what he did, right? So again, I don't I don't remember where the card is. I I couldn't find it for some reason. I don't know if I don't remember his name properly. But for sure, the card did end up looking pretty good. Uh I'm not even sure who revealed it. I, I, I think I think maybe maybe Zerk revealed it for the most part. I'm not entirely sure, but the card looked good. Anyways, you've probably seen it already. Moving on. Now, what are some guys that I think could potentially get a card, right? Like, what are some guys that, in my opinion, could could still get one, you know, as like a prediction? First, you got Michael Vick. Michael Vick just always gets a golden ticket. Like, almost maybe every single year he gets a golden ticket. Regardless, he's going to get a 99 overall card pretty soon. What the thing is, is this, is that Michael Vick... At quarterback, right? Quarterbacks are important golden tickets because of the archetypes, the AP, the amount of abilities. So quarterbacks, no matter what, will be more. He, Michael Vick blew away his his uh his card last year, his golden is uh ultra legend, right? Because they could both be 99 overall, but Michael Vick got a three boosted stats, so automatically he's a god at some things that other guys aren't. Trust me, you're gonna see. So this next Michael Vick, off the rip, what is he looking like? Next Michael Vick ends up probably he's gonna get 99 speed for sure, because he already can almost get it. He's gonna get 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 agility probably high 60 strength and he's gonna end up with mid 90 jumping accuracy 99 throw power already um his short accuracy will end up being close to 99 short but we're not entirely sure there right so he probably let's say he gets three right 94 play fake gets him to 99 he's good medium will not be getting there at all it'll end up being like probably at best a 90 plus cams so you probably end up in around 94 probably 90 let's go 90 though for no cams deep accuracy will end up being around a 96 so that's gonna fall short as well throw on the run will end up being around a 98 Play action would be like a 96. Throw under pressure, 93. Break sack, 97, 98. Ball carrier. He's changed direction already. He's going to be a 97. Ball carrier vision. Good. You know, like, juke moves going to be mid-high 90. Spin moves going to be probably a 90. Carrying is a little bit low. Maybe around an 80. And break tackle, 84. So, based off this card right here, what would you upgrade? Uh, I think you got to get his accuracy up. I think medium medium accuracy for sure has to be one of them. So, now he has 99 short, 99 medium. That leaves you with deep. The deep won't be 99, but it's still pretty good. Now, we're going to look. But next, I would do is carrying. So now his carrying is going to be probably close to high 90. High 90 carrying. He's going to have a high, he's going to have a 99 medium, 99 short. Maybe you just give Vic a 99 deep and now he ends up a perfect accuracy passer while also having perfect carrying and being everything else, right? That's my opinion. Now, Jonathan Ogden, I'm not going to go through all of them again because it's getting kind of long here, but Jonathan Ogden, quarterback, definitely up there, guys. I wouldn't be surprised. Six foot nine, he has a lot of hype. People like him. How would an Ogden quarterback look, guys, on a plus seven increase, 99 throw power? Gonna have mid 90 accuracy across the board. Probably end up with a 99 throw deep. Give him play fake, guys. If you give him play fake on a plus seven to these guys, you may end up with 99 passing across the board. Uh, his break sack will end up being like a mid 80. His trucking's pretty good, but the car's not that great. The car won't be that awesome, honestly. The car will be decent. Gonna be kind of slow, but he's gonna be a big monster. He's just gonna be fun. Um, you remember, you can't boost the speed, right? You can't boost that stuff. So you're gonna only be able to probably boost. What you probably boost with him is probably nothing accuracy wise. Maybe maybe throw on the run. Uh, maybe throw on the run, you could boost, maybe break sack, and if you really wanted to make fun, you could maybe boost his carrying. But that's about it, guys. I mean, you have to really run with him. He's going to have like a 67 speed, 70 max. I don't think it'll, I don't think it'll be, I think it'll be a cool card. I think it'll be fun, but I don't think it's going to be a meta card, right? And then Bo Jackson, another guy like Vic who just always gets one. Uh, Bo. Bo would have 99 speed, 99 excel. He would have 97 agility. He'll have mid-90 strength, mid-high 90 strength. Uh, sorry, mid-low 90 strength. He'll have high 90 jumping. He will have probably 97 98 trucking 97 change of direction 93 ball carrier vision 94 stiff arm above 90 spin you have close to 97 juke 96 carrying 98 break tackle what can you really give him guys i don't give him bow anything i'm giving bow catching stats because that's he's just horrible but the bike when he runs routes he's slow when you give it to him he drops the ball a lot i would give him probably catching catching traffic and short running i would probably not touch any of his running stats catching catching traffic short running give him wheels contested catches and with all of his other stats can just make things happen and if you really want to touch anything else other than that i mean maybe maybe no no still, still i wouldn't even, stiff arm's not worth it like i'm not gonna that's worth it i'm definitely going catch and catch traffic short running but guys better for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy from the channel hit that subscribe button turn that notify bell give this video a big thumbs up as always if you haven't already head over to my phone bank down below and just click through that check out for five percent off your order Thanks for watching. Peace.